we begin in a T formation with the body, arms out from the shoulders. The body begins with a rocking motion from heels to toe. We call this heel rocks. We can also do pelvis rocks, which move from side to side, connecting the spine to the rest of the body. Our first foundational exercise, you feel an impulse from the earth into the backs of the knees with imaginary strings drawing the knees to the side. The body moves in very slow succession, each part connecting and pulling the one above or below it. In this case, knees draw the pelvis, pelvis draws over to the side of the body. The toe strings, imaginary toe strings, pull the toes away from the head, drawing them downward. The body continues to fall, the belly pouring onto the front side of the body the arm falling behind the back, the chest pouring, the shoulders pouring, and finally, successionally, the head falls. You can rest and rock in this position with the body resting on the arm. To return to your cross position, you imagine an impulse coming out of the earth into the body's dantian, into the core or the tandin, and then imaginary strings on the tail begin to pull the pelvis. The body moves in succession. The lower back moves, connecting to the earth, flowing. The lower back arrives. The waist arrives. The middle back the shoulder blades arrive, and finally, the arms flowing into the neck, and then, at last, the head. The body realigns itself into this crossed position with arms out from shoulders, and begins heel rocks, and pelvis rocks, scanning the body for relaxation, using the muscles. We'll do this exercise one more time to the opposite side, coming toward the camera. Impulse behind the knees out of the earth. Knee strings draw the knees over the rest of the body stays, resists this movement, only moving when it absolutely must because of the connections and the flow from other body parts. Toe strings draw the legs away from the head as the body continues to flow pouring the belly first, and then the chest falling, 
gradually the shoulders are pulled, arm flows behind the back, the chest and shoulders pull the neck and head at last until the body is resting against the arm, relaxing, small rocking, And on your own timing, when you're ready to return, feel the impulse using a deep exhale. The pelvis responds to this impulse. The tail strings, drawing the pelvis successionally. Pelvis arrives onto the lower back. drawing the waist, the middle back, slowly moving up the spine, feeling each vertebra reattaching, connected to the one below. Upper back flows, shoulders flow, finally neck and head, the body softens into the earth, feeling gravity, feeling the weight of itself, realigning heel rocks, pelvis rocks, 